Hey there, how you doing? Have you ever stopped what you were doing and had a good long think about uh, how life has been going for you for the last little bit? In the Christian tradition, we call this time of stopping and reflecting, having a retreat or going on a retreat. Um, normally it's spent uh, going somewhere else other than your normal home or location, uh, often to a monastery or a convent or a retreat center. And it's a time spent in solitude, a time sp spent uh, reflecting on things, a time spent in prayer. Uh, and sometimes um, you have a retreat leader who guides you through uh, this um, special time. And you get opportunities to chat with them, uh, to share your reflections and to see how it's all going. But often it's a time to reflect on how life has been going for you up to that point and what God might be saying uh, to you now and um, about how you are to go forward into the next season of life. It's a time of stopping, and it's a time of reflecting, and it's a time of being open to what God wants to do with you and how you are to live your life going forward. In our lectionary reading today, uh, it's taken from uh, Matthew's Gospel, chapter 28, verses 8 to 15. And it continues uh, this amazing uh, passage of Mary Magdalene and the other Mary going to the tomb where Jesus' body was laid and finding the tomb vacant, but meeting the angel there uh, who's been waiting for them and who instructs them uh, to go uh, to Galilee uh, to find Jesus there. And so uh, we see this uh, little scene. It's very short, but it's packed full of meaning. Uh, so from verse uh, 8 uh, to 9, just two verses. So they left the tomb quickly with fear and great joy and ran to tell his disciples. Suddenly, Jesus met them and said, Greetings. And they came to him, took hold of his feet and worshipped him. So in just a couple of short verses there, uh, such movement, such change, uh, Mary Magdalene and the other Mary, they are hot-footing it. Uh, they've encountered God's messenger uh, who's told them uh, to go uh, to Galilee, where you'll see Jesus there, and they are heading out of town. Uh, and so they're leaving with great fear, but also mixed with joy at this uh, earth-shattering news. So it's very fast-paced, it's very quick, uh, it's moving, it's happening. But then they meet with Jesus, Jesus appears, and he just says, greetings. And what is their response to that? Do they kind of clamber all over him, or do they keep on running, uh, consumed by this fear and joy? Do they miss who it really is? Well, they don't. They recognize that it is Jesus, and they came to him. And it's interesting that they took hold of his feet. So you can imagine, uh, for them to be able to do that, their posture must have been low down. They've completely stopped with their running, and they are bowed down and touching Jesus' feet, uh, a humble posture, uh, recognizing Jesus as the world's true Lord and King. And that is their response to him. So friends, these uh, few verses are packed full of movement and pace, but also a stopping, a stopping and coming before uh, the person of Jesus, coming before his feet, uh, bowing down and worshipping him. And I wonder whether this season of uh, COVID-19, um, this season of the world essentially stopping uh, in its movements, not able to fly internationally, not able to fly interstate, uh, not even able to get in a car and, and journey over a border. Uh, people are in lockdown. Many people's jobs um, have stopped and um, our normal movements have come to a halt. And I wonder whether this is time for us to do that work of reflecting on how life has been going for us over the last few years or so. Maybe it's been quite fast paced. Maybe it's been quite manic. Maybe we are just exhausted by it. And maybe in this season, 
uh, we might want to uh, stop ourselves on top of the enforced stopping and consider afresh uh, who this person of Jesus Christ might be. Maybe we want to come before him and read the Bible and see what it's all about. And maybe, just maybe, we will encounter Jesus standing before us, saying greetings, and maybe we will come to his feet uh, and we'll come to repent, ask for forgiveness, and receive a whole new life in him. So friends, in this difficult season uh, of much change, I hope uh, that your stopping uh, will not be uh, detrimental to you, but that your stopping may be life-affirming, in that you may meet the risen Lord Jesus, who says greetings to you, who has come to you as the world's true Lord and Saviour. May you take care, have a good day, and we'll see you again tomorrow.